Hello YouTube, Infinite Magic Ray Community, Gandalf here. Uh, I'm recording uh, this this video on, on just a quick out, um, just so it's easier for me to show you the events uh, that's available this week. So here we have Rowing Waves, all right? Rowing Wave is gonna be on for this week. There's a lot of good deals and passes. Uh, I'll walk you through them and tell you, um, you know, what's worth it and what's not. Hopefully that will be very helpful for you. Uh, starting off the bat, uh, you have the holiday packs. Well, again, just discounted packs. Holiday pass, the the usual thing. Um, you know, go through the rewards. You get an eye at the end. Make sure you do the quest. Don't forget about going in here. If you are spending, it is I think is it twenty dollars USD or Canadian? I'm not sure here, uh, but it's more to get the supreme rune uh, for summon. Value wise, again, I will always prefer the battle pass over over this. Um, if you're trying to figure out where, if you're going to spend that money, um, um, you know, what to prioritize on. Good deal. They have done a lot of these deals in the past. Now, again, only go after these if you actually need uh, some of these things. Um, it does get very expensive, $250 to get to the end. I would not go for this uh, unless you are, a, you know, a dolphin or whale that actually buys uh, miracle runes for summons and here again all of these things are farmable um, it's it's not something you really have to spend a lot of money on so uh, buyers be warned uh, holiday science so this is the interesting one they're giving us novanik okay four copies of novanik one two three and four four copies of him all right i think a question comes to mind right away is should you build him or not and i'll just tell you straight up um the answer is just no okay um for what he does he's very much a single target damage dealer the the buff he brings down is defense down tenacity down there are far better heroes that would be useful there there are very few epics game in this game that is actually worth building he is not one of them epics also take additional um additional resources level up because they start at four stars so just think of it. Congratulations. You got one, two, three, four, four epic dragon eggs for you to feed into somebody else. All right. Holiday dungeon. Don't forget to do them because this is a great source of gem uh, usually. So looking at the rewards, right? Um, oh, it feels a little bit less than usual this time. Let's see. 300, 900, 1,500. Okay, like 22, 22,000, I think, if I counted correctly. And you get a um, dragon egg from this. Not a, not bad. I mean, free stuff is always free stuff. Make sure you do them. You can use multi-battle on this to get it through quickly. Uh, this is the one that probably everyone has their eye on. And they want to understand how this event works a little bit. So what happens is, first of all, for any player who's logging in every single day, Okay, just make sure you click through these, all right? Um, because you get one a day, okay? And every time when you use a key, you have a chance to get a reward, okay? And the reward um, are either gonna be, you know, a room or uh, or one well, of these echoes. So this is what you will see, what you get, all right? And you will get one key every single day. So in a week, you will get the six other keys and you get a free chest. All right. So a lot of you are probably going to ask, well, of all of these heroes, um, which one's really good for you? Um, they're all kind of meh. But what I love about this, okay. Oh, by the way, here it tells you what reward you can get. So I guess 30% of each of these, and you have a very, you have a 10% chance of getting a dragon's egg. Not bad. Not bad. Um, but over here. I will say it depends on what you need, right? Fiona is kind of out of the question unless you really want to use her in PvP, and even that, you know, depending on where you, what stage you're in the game, people will probably never get to a point where you need to build Fiona, and Fiona is not a hero you would definitely need to use for faction either. So Fiona is out of the question. Hoff has a very niche specific setup, all right? Hoff is when you are you need exclusive three Hoff where you use him in the turn one burst team where you run a super fast Lydia and then your entire team just goes 
together all at the same time. So that's like bring your Tiffia, bring your Olga, bring your Lysander, and anybody who can just instantly go turn one when the first hero moves. That's when you pair with a Hoff to you know mark a target, kill that target, get a second turn. Um, that's when you would use Hoff. Literally no other use. So we're down to three left to pick. Okay. Um, Hizaro is great. Hizaro has severe wound on a three turn cooldown. So if you need to farm Grinneth early game where you don't have an OP team, Hizaro is definitely really good for setting it up. All right. Um, you get to use severe wound um, right away. All right. An exclusive one is when he's uh, able to now additionally trigger bleed targets. So Hizaro, solid damage. Um, and I think even at exclusive zero, he's a pretty decent single target damage dealer. So Hazaro, you know, is a possible choice. Okay. Uh, and here I'm strictly talking about, you know, new players because for any player in end game, none of these heroes will be of interest to them. They wouldn't be using it in any particular composition or lineup. But this is what you get Hazaro for. Um, Tuck. So in my um, video. Uh, where I did the playthrough, I actually used a Tuck. And Tuck is great if you're starting out because Tuck, if you pair it with a hero like Maya that can give you uh, team immunity, you can uh, um, you can freeze all of your enemies and then shield up. right? Of course, Exclusive 1 will take care of that problem because you can now freeze everyone on the enemy and your team and then you cleanse everybody on your team. So basically, if you exclusive one, that solves the problem. You can run him by himself. And it's great because you can now get control and shielding all in one hero, um, which will help you a lot with your wave clear. So, yeah, great hero to pair up. If you have a Santa, then you can like freeze and then defreeze again with Santa. And your Santa wouldn't require a lot of, um, you know, effective hit because it's kind of like freezing on top of a freeze. So Tuck is a very good option as well. Walter is only good if you run a poison heavy team. And usually what you do is you do something like uh, Walter with Nita, where um, uh, Walter goes, Nita goes second. Um, Walter, I think at exclusive one is when he, no, exclusive one makes him immune to poison. Exclusive two is when he's able to do two layers of poison. All right. Um, low exclusive Walter, not really worth it, to be honest. Um, he has good AOE clear. On my on my actual my main account, I did clear all of the content actually with like a Taff, Walter, and Walsley team, a poison team. But unless you got a real solid poison setup, Walter is not, you know, that good of a pick either. So there you have it, guys. Um, you all get a free chest this week to choose one of these five heroes to get, which is really nice. Like literally, no dollar spent, free to play. You're getting a free hero. Okay. Now then let's talk about well, what happens if you want the next chest and how much does it cost you. Okay. So you can get one key here, but that won't solve the problem for you. So what you really probably need is like an eight key here and probably a, either a two key here. It doesn't matter how you buy it. You're not going to get to the second chest. Um, you're going to need the $25. Okay. You're going to need $25 here. I think it's USD to get to the first chest. The question you ask yourself is, are these heroes worth it? And you got Popper in here, you got Rona in here, you got Anhejin in here, okay? Very solid, very solid hero. And if you were looking for uh, Duz and you didn't summon Duz and you got the Bethany, well, this is probably your chance of picking up the pair. Um, the pair will go do a lot of damage together. Um, they're so so and support supportive of one another. But again, if you don't have a popper, it's way cheaper to grab one of these chests right now than trying to grab him on Miracle Summon. Just saying. Miracle Summons cost a lot of money. So for $25 picking up this chest, if you really need one of these heroes and you don't want to, you know, try your luck, if you were planning to get it on Miracle Summon, $25 is a really good deal. Um, to try to grab it instead of trying to grab it on Miracle Summon. Finally, um, if you want one of the prior limited heroes, how much would it cost you? Well, we go into the special pack. So this is where we kind of use the $1 and the 
five dollars here because then you need to tap into your uh, flash packs unfortunately for your first one you can grab it for seventy dollars and for the second one it will take you another one hundred dollars so for first copy is seventy the second copy is going to cost you uh, ninety um, there's no way around it but what you can save though is to save yourself from spending the one dollar and the ten dollar here this is a trap guys buying these two is not worth it because you either go all you either get to a chest level or you don't so if you plan to get the first chest don't spend a single dollar if you do plan to get the um, second chest um, then spend on these two because spending on these will not get you the chest you still need to spend more okay if you plan to get to the 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 um, the Santa chest, the first Santa chest, and you will plan only to grab one copy of it. Again, this is a trap, okay? Uh, don't buy these two, okay? These are traps. I'm gonna I'm gonna literally take a screenshot of this and put it on the thumbnail and tell people don't buy these two because it's a trap, okay? Don't buy this. Um, unless, okay, unless. Okay, you plan to get a, a second copy. Okay, this is where we go to flash pack. You need to get the seven. Okay, you get seven here, and then you go to your special pack and you pick up the five here. Okay, and then you pick up one more here, one here, so you're at six. You grab two of these. So if you plan to get three copies, that's the only time two when you're going for this. So going back to this here only when you want okay the third round when you want two or three of these chests is when you will want um want to grab the the, the ones from a special pack otherwise um it's useless so for those of you who don't plan to spend a lot i just saved you 11 bucks thank you very much um hope you appreciate that and i'll leave it at that uh seems like my internet's broken a little bit so i'll end the video here uh, and i'll catch you in the next video gandalf out